Hello everyone, Father Scott Vanderveer here with the first in a series on the topic of love. And this is really exciting for me and for all of us here at St. Mary's because it's the very first time that we have gone to the hosts of the small groups that we've been having here at our parish. And we've asked them, here are several themes that come up in the readings of the Easter season. Which of these would you like us to go more deeply into so that you and the small groups can really dig in and learn more about a particular topic that is part of the Easter scriptures? And of the selection that we gave them, they chose love, the topic of love for another person and for all humanity. It says in scripture that faith and hope and love are the three gifts from God that endure after all else has passed. And it also says the greatest of the three is love. It's interesting for us to consider the difference between the kinds of love. There are a number of ways that thinkers over the years have have considered love. We've, we've heard of the, the Greek distinctions of love, the idea that there is the love between brothers and sisters called philia, the, the, the love of fellowship and caring among people with connections. There is uh, eros, the love of romance and of, of drivenness to another person. And then there's the love agape, the, the unconditional, expansive love that God reveals to us in the life of Jesus. And so we know that there are more than just one mode of, of ways of loving. There's, there's, there's the love that you might find between a parent and child, the love between friends, the love between husband and wife or between two deeply romantic people, people connected to each other in a romantic way. There's, there's the love that is the love above all, the love that God reveals where we show love without conditions for those people in our lives who sometimes need to be given some grace. One of the things that Mother Teresa said about love that I think is so helpful is she said, the real task of love is to learn how to love without getting tired. Any of us can love when we're fully rested, when the person that we're loving is lovable, when we're responding to love, when we're being treated with, with respect and kindness and we're simply returning that in kind. That is not hard to do. Mother Teresa says though, loving when you're tired or loving when the person's quirks are on your nerves, loving when you've already been giving and giving and giving in other ways and you feel frustrated that you're being asked to give yet again, loving the hard to love, loving when we're tired. That is the real skill, says Mother Teresa. The real task in life, she says, is loving without getting tired, having endurance in love. One of the things that I heard a uh, wife who'd been married for over 50 years tell me that I loved is she said, Father, the real telltale sign of a good marriage is the number of scars you have on your tongue from biting it. That's loving without getting tired. That's someone who says, there goes my spouse again with the same annoying quirk or the same habit or the same verbal tick, the same, the same script playing over and over again. And that's, that's the person I married. And while I love them, 
I may not find this particular trait lovable, but I can choose to bite my tongue in love. I can choose to hold back because love is patient and it's kind. And it's something the Bible says that I love. It is long suffering. <laughs> that, that's familiar for some of us who've loved some of our family or friends or spouses for a long time. Love is long suffering. It knows how to endure. It knows how to be patient in the midst of someone's quirks. One of our great spiritual teachers in the Diocese of Albany is a sister of St. Joseph, who's a professor and poet, author, Sister Kitty Hanley, longtime professor of English uh, at, at the College of St. Rose. And Sister Kitty said, that one of the things we have to recognize is that when we are tired, compassion is the first thing that's going to go. When we are tired, we are going to experience a reduction in our capacity for compassion, which is maybe why Mother Teresa says, let's figure out how to love without getting tired. One of the things we need to do for one another in love, whether we know each other or not, whether we are deep friends, family members, or complete strangers, is we need to learn how to give generous assumptions to one another. We need to learn how to not assume the worst of another person. Recently, I was visiting Montreal, and it was my first time anywhere since before COVID. I was so excited to be somewhere, but I was returning to the United States and I needed to get into a certain lane to get on a bridge. I did not realize that when I made the turn from one road to another, that if I didn't stay in the far left lane, I would no longer be in the feeder for the bridge. And so what I did looked incredibly selfish. I immediately went a little further up, realized my mistake, and then put on my left blinker to try to find a spot in the lineup of cars. Do you know how angry that must have made some of those drivers? It looked like I was trying to do that thing that I despise when it happens to me, that I was trying to get ahead of the line of slow traffic and then find the very closest spot to where I could zoom forward and just kind of zipper right in. There was a kind driver behind me who gestured for me to enter. And then somebody else behind that driver started honking angrily, like, how could you do that? And I noticed that the difference between the two drivers really was distinct. One of the drivers gave me a generous assumption. It might have been that my New York license plates showed that I did not know where I was going, but, but they let me in, generously assuming that I wasn't trying to do something selfish. I, I simply needed to enter the line. Gosh, I appreciated that because the car behind assumed that I was doing what I often assume other people are doing, trying to take advantage and get in there. It was, it was an act of love from one stranger to another, from that driver, a French Canadian person, to me to help make room in my day for a little reduction in the stress I was feeling. The car further back, and no judgment here, but was outside of the realm of love, was, was feeling frustrated. And, and it may be that the person behind the wheel who honked is a very loving person who was simply tired. So one of the things that I like to try to do in traffic to try and deal with this kind of feeling, which I feel often, is I try to imagine 
that the person who does the thing like I did, merges in in an annoying way, is coming from a funeral home and is, is trying to get to the next appointment, maybe to a florist or maybe to visit the, the home of another relative who needs to be informed of a death. And, and they are completely overwhelmed and distracted by the grief of what they're going through. And by my letting them in, I am doing one small thing to ease some of the terrible burden of grief that they have. Is it true? Is it not? I don't know. But I want to love without getting tired. And little tricks like that can sometimes help. How do we learn how to love others? That's what we'll be focusing on over the next several weeks of the Easter season. And we're so glad that you're here with us. Please know that you can turn to the St. Mary's website and at the menu bar at the top, you can click on small groups. And then if you, if you pull down that menu bar, you'll see that there are so many options for you to, to get involved in small group work, including a weekly guide that takes you through all of the readings that we have done in the past week and introduces you to some discussion questions that are specifically geared for sharing in a small group context. But they can be used other ways as well. Would you like to consider continuing going in a small group or, or maybe joining a small group for the first time? Give us a call, contact us and let us know that. We'd love to help. May God help you love without getting tired. God bless you all.